What's up and welcome to the Snipe Life Podcast, where we talk about basically whatever we want. So, that's where we're at. But, we're in a new studio, new setup for the podcast. What do you think? I love it. Yeah? Yeah, you did Overall. a great job. Thanks. Appreciate it. We'll be figuring it out as we go through, like we always do. Yep. But, yeah, it's been an interesting, interesting journey the last few weeks. It's been a few weeks since we did a podcast. Yeah. And um, now it's just us. I know. All alone. Stop. On the road to a place where I belong, Tennessee. Because <coughs> <laughs> West Virginia is the song. Mm, I guess, well, yes. that was what it says. Anyway. So, what do you think about our trip so far? About our trip? This isn't a trip. Well, our trip into the new journey, which is our new life. Ah. Hmm. It's, um, well, I went into work yesterday, um, and man, after being work from home since 2019, like the first day was great. Like I did an amazing job. I didn't get drained, but today, like midday, I was like, I am so done. (laughs) (laughs) Like not, not with the job. I love the job. I love all the people that I'm, I'm working with, but Mm -hmm. like, it was just so draining. Like I felt so drained today. So, Mm -hmm. Plus, I had a bad morning and all that, so. Yeah. Anyway. Why do you have a bad morning? I'm not going to say why. I just woke up. I guess I went to sleep late, woke up late, and. Just they, couldn't get your day started. Days weren't, yeah, things weren't going the way that they, <laughs> I wanted them to go, you know? Yeah, it's been interesting for me, for sure, because, like, you normally, like, we've been working together for three years right yeah. like at home yeah so for us it's interesting like waking up and you're not there and then I have to figure out what to do and like figuring out the day and stuff and <clears throat> it's been really Aww. really interesting huh oh what it makes me feel special why <laughs> because I'm missed uh-huh that's it go <laughs> ahead continue <laughs> um but definitely a different routine for both of us. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. And so, like, going through that, I think it's, like, we knew this was going to be a hard transition, and I think it's starting to hit both of us a little bit, like, oh, here's the reality of the situation. Yeah. Because at first you feel like, you know, like, this is just, like, a vacation or you're off somewhere or whatever. The but first week, definitely, I felt like, mm-hmm. oh, vacation. But I'm still, like, moving in and unboxing right, stuff. Right, but right. But it still feels like a vacation. Right. And then this week it was, like, Labor Day, the Monday, so that that kind of threw the week off, and then going into work, commuting. Right. What the heck, commuting, bro? Like my commute <laughs> was five steps to the office. Sure, sure. <laughs> How have you felt about that? How's the commuting been? Um. First, I was like trying to find something to fill the time with, like, but I like driving in quiet, is what I'm realizing. Mm-hmm. So, um. It's 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 interesting. I mean, being in Tennessee, like there's the roads are a little more windy, mm-hmm. you know, like especially yeah. the route that Apple or Google has been sending me through. And then I started freaking out because I'm like, what if it snows and I have to go through this windy road and I don't know how to <laughs> handle myself like with snow. But obviously yeah. we're in first of all, we're in September. So I'm like just catastrophizing for no reason. So. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It doesn't snow that much here. So, yeah, that's what we'll I figure it out piece by piece. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think it's 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 definitely going to be a journey for both of us. Like, <clears throat> I think today I was really struggling because, uh, like, for me, I'm I'm in this weird crossroads with our channel too, mm. where it's like, okay, well, where, what do I do? Yeah. You know, like, <clears throat> so what's for example, purpose? like, huh? Like, what's our purpose? Well, I know what our purpose is. Yeah. But I want to know how most efficiently to get there, and mm. also something that's not I'm not going to burn out on and yeah. something that I'm not going to like not enjoy doing right you know yeah and so <clears throat> like I'm trying to come to those conclusions but it's really difficult because like there's just a lot that goes along with YouTube mm-hmm. yeah you know like there's a lot that goes to it so for me like thinking through all that stuff it's r- it's really really difficult mm-hmm. and and I'm trying my best to um to come up with those clarifying questions and to come up with those clarifying moments for me. Mm -hmm. And really, I just like, uh, I'm just like praying, like God, give me the answers that I need to Mm -hmm. walk forward in this and like, and know what to do. Cause I just don't. And so 
for me, like I have ideas, right? Like I, I am I, an idea guy. Like I have yeah. a ton of ideas and things that I want to do. You're a visionary. Um, but I want to make sure that those ideas are building on each other, not fighting with each other. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and so it's been really difficult. Like today I just felt like I was paralyzed most of the day. Like mm. I felt like. Like paralysis analysis, like analysis paralysis. Like. Yeah. Like, <coughs> so I had set a schedule for myself. So today I'm supposed to be recording a video and then putting it out tomorrow. Uh -huh. Right. And so I was like thinking to myself, like, okay, well, I have these 10 ideas that I could do, but like these 10 ideas, like, do I stick with chosen ideas? Do I stick with like other ideas? What if I do a video that nobody watches? Like, does that hurt my channel? Like, w so what do I do next? You know, because I don't yeah. want to do something that's going to hurt my channel and blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah. so there's so many questions I'm asking myself and it's like, like, dude, <laughs> like, I just don't know what to do. Right. So at one point I was just like, I just got stuck and I was, I was like, okay, well, I don't have the answer, you know, mm -hmm. and nobody's going to give me the answer, yeah. you know, so I'm just like praying and I'm trying to seek out what God wanted me to do. And I just felt him be like, <clears throat> just do it, you know, mm. like, yeah, just go, yeah. you know, just move. Yeah. And, and so for me that meant like, okay, I'll just set up something, you know? Yeah. And so I started studying and started like walking in, uh, first Thessalonians and like figuring out different things in there. And then I just went on a live stream and talked yeah. about the first couple of chapters and, um, that's super cool, babe. the background and stuff. And so for me, it was just like, okay, I know that this isn't going to be like the most popular video in the world. Sure. Right. Uh, especially like a live stream in the middle of the day that I didn't tell anybody I was going live and blah, yeah. blah, blah. Like I get all that stuff, but for me, it was more of like a obedience. thing. Uh, yeah. An obedience thing. And that's what I want to happen overall. And that's what I said during the live stream too. At the end of it, I was like, here's the reason why I went live today, you yeah. know, and like, here's where I'm at. Like I'm trying to figure this stuff out and I don't have the answers, Yeah. but I, I, I just want to be ultra confident in God and who he is and right. like know that he's going to bring me to the right place. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's interesting because like for me, even going back into work, like I can't stop. Like I know you're telling me focus in on what you're doing right now. Focus in on this job, do the best mm -hmm. that you can. And yeah, you're 100% correct, but I can't help but always think about our business yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. it is our business yeah. and it is part of me, you know? So like, I keep thinking about how they do things, how, how the, how that business does and succeeds and is like, you're talking about your new job. Yeah. So like, and, and it always like, I'm always thinking, oh, well, they're doing this. How does that apply to, to, to snipe solutions? Right. Like, right. um, anyway. Yeah. It's, it's so, um, it's like when you go over a hill or you're on a roller coaster and you have that like moment where your stomach feels like it's going into your throat. Like it's that type of feeling for me where it's mm -hmm. like, I'm waiting. I know that this is going to be amazing. Yeah. Right? I know the ride is going to be so fun yeah. and everything's going to be great. But in this moment, I feel really uncomfortable, you know, just because you don't know the answers. Yeah. Because I don't want to make a wrong move, you know? And I think don't do that. <laughs> like, well, cause I get stuck there all the time. Sure, sure, like sure. even in like when I'm doing web development or when I'm, when I was working freelance, like I wouldn't stop moving. Like mm -hmm. I would get stuck because I didn't want to take the next step because I was afraid or because it was hard. Right. Like there were certain things that I needed to learn a little bit more and it was harder. So like I just stopped because it, mm. it was like I would par I would paralyze myself. Right. By overthinking and overanalyzing and getting overwhelmed. And I'm like, oh, I have to do this, 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 and this. And so I don't do anything. So, like, right. I, yeah, don't do that. That's my biggest <laughs> advice. <laughs> Just be better, idiot. <laughs> no, because I do it. Like I said, like, even still, when I was still freelancing, like, yeah. that's what would happen. Like, that's why sometimes we would have, like, budget meetings, right? Mm -hmm. Like, and it's like. I would get so mad because you're like, why haven't we made that much money? But like, yeah. that's a perfectly great uh, question. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it was because of that. I was so paralyzed by, I don't know, my insufficiencies. Like I, I would, I feel like I would have imposter syndrome a lot. Yeah. And do you feel like you're going through that? I think a little bit. I think I've always struggled with that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, like with me, I think, um, you know, I was in ministry so young that I think I've always struggled with it there. Um, mm -hmm. but then I felt really comfortable after yeah. a while, you know, and, yeah. but like we've talked about in the last podcast with, with Brian and Jen, and then on our channel, like this is just a whole new thing, Yeah, you know, like yeah. there's so much that I want to do, 
but I want to be as efficient as possible mm -hmm. and I want to bring as much value as possible. Yeah. Like I keep on thinking like, oh, maybe this would work. Maybe this would work. But would that be serving the kingdom? You know, mm. like, is that really something that I want to like be doing? Yeah. L like maybe I would have fun doing it mm -hmm. and maybe God could use it. I don't know. Yeah. But I want to do what God wants me to do. And I just, I'm not a hundred percent clear on what that is, at least mm. not in every facet. I think there's some things that he's obviously clearly brought us to like our relationship with the chosen and all of that yeah. stuff. But I'm not sure if that's like where he wants us to sit for now. Like, are we supposed to be a chosen only channel, you know, for right now? Yeah. and hyper focus on that and then grow beyond that or does he want us to start doing these other things now you know and and just move in it and so for me i think that's one of the big questions that i'm struggling with for sure i think um i think we need to find our deep why mm -hmm. and like you said like ha I have the chosen as uh, what do you call it? Like a hook. A hook, yeah. right? Like, um, so we need to find our, our why. Like, what are we doing? What are we trying to grow? Why? Mm -hmm. Like, I, we know that, though. Yeah. So, like, how can we implement that? Right. And, and I think that's what I was, I was trying to, I'm trying to do because, like, for me, I, I'm, I'm, I really want scripture to be the focus. Yeah. Right? I agree. Because I, I can say whatever I want to say. It doesn't matter. Right. Right? Yeah. But when I'm reading the words of Paul or Jesus or, like, Peter, like, there's nothing that can fight against that. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, there's nothing that can stop it from being truth. Yeah. Um, and so as I walk through that, like, just walking through First Thessalonians today, like, there's so much in there where it talks about, and I'd like to talk about this in a second, but, like, talks about holiness mm -hmm. and, like, the idea of, like, these things. Uh, Thessalonians, like they, Thessalonians, <laughs> <lol>. <laughs> I did that in the stream too. Um, these Thessalonians, like they, they, um, the city's called Thessalonica. <laughs> right. I can't. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. They, they met Paul and Silas, right? And they started the church and everything happened there. <laughs> Can you stop? What's wrong? Thessalonians? I just so okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore. Okay, anyway. anyway. The Thessalonians. Thessalonians. Whenever <laughs> they started their church there, it's like they didn't need Paul and Silas once they left. You know? Yeah. It was very clear that they just kind of took off and ran with it. Uh -huh. Right. And and in a lot of ways that's what I want to bring people to as well. Is like, um, I want to. <laughs> there's jinx. <laughs> I want to get them to the point where they are so excited about the scripture, right? Like I wrote, I wrote down in in my notes a while ago. I'll read it to you. So I wrote this down in my notes, and it was like my why, right? Like the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing, and um, and I put, I'm tired of being the only one excited about what God is doing in the world. Mm. Uh, how plainly we can see Him, yet He's ignored. Ooh. Right. Yeah. And so for me, like, that's what I want for people, the people that I'm interacting with, the people that we're talking to on our channel. Yeah. Like, I want them to get the fire yeah. so that they can run out into the world and do all these things that God has asked them to do. Yeah. Right. Like, I want to be so obedient that people are like, what you're doing doesn't make sense. Right. You know, and then I can give God the glory through it. Right. So I don't want to get stuck in this moment of like, here are the right YouTube things to do. Right. You know? Yeah. And I just want to follow what God wants me to do. Yeah. And so I just need to listen to him more. And I, I need to hear from him more. Yeah. I think it's the bigger thing. Like, I can't get in this moment of, like, not hearing him at all. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I just don't want to get stuck in that. I want to listen to him more. And I, that's what I put in our, our devotional for this week as well. If you guys don't know, we do a devotional um, a couple times a week for our Patreon family and so it's just kind of giving insight into our lives and what we're going through and also just sharing some scripture and kind of walking through that together yeah and um and so like I, I talked about that in in one of the devotionals and it was like I need, I need to do a better job of listening and how do I do that well the only way I know how is to read scripture and to pray okay. right yeah and so for me, like, I think that's my focus right now. Yeah. And I don't know what that's that will focus, translate into, though, you know? Yeah. So two things. 
Have we told our podcast audience about the thing about Jerusalem? Did you want to share that? And then yeah, we can, we can talk about that. Yeah. <coughs> and then yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So um, a long time ago, when we started this channel, I mean, when it really started taking off, we were like uh, kind of surprised by that, right? Yeah. And so we're trying to figure out, like, what do we do? What is our purpose? Mm -hmm. How should we go about this? And um, God has rarely spoken to me in this way. Mm -hmm. um, but in, in this particular time, I'm up at, like, 1 or 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. And he always, like, that's the time that he will speak to me, like, give me something to really focus on or really give me clarity on something. And, um, and so I remember writing this down, like, when I was in bed at, at one or 2 AM. And it's like, God just hit me with this understanding of who we're supposed to reach. Right. And so the, the, what he said was, remember the great commission, like uh, the great commission says, um, now go forth and, and basically reach all the nations. Right. But, it, but it breaks it up into groups. Mm -hmm. And so it starts with Jerusalem, Judea, and then Samaria and the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. Right. And so these different groups, and it starts with Jerusalem, which is the Holy city right? Mm -hmm. This place in which everybody there is supposed to be devout and holy and good, right? They're okay. Like they're, they're, they're righteous. Yeah. That's what, that's like righteous, right? right. <laughs> and so the God, Pharisees, the, well, the Pharisees and the Jewish people and yeah. Jesus was there a lot and his disciples, right? Like there are right, right, right. righteous people, but there are also the others, right? Who believe that they're righteous and they're not. Right. And so for me, God was like really clear, like, I want you to reach Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. So these are the people who maybe they've grown up in church their whole life. Yeah. Maybe, um, maybe they've even been in ministry. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have this idea of what Christianity is and they haven't like sought into it yet. Mm -hmm. um, but throughout all of that, they don't fully get the picture. Yeah. Right. Like they're missing pieces of it. The truth right. is not fully true to them. Yeah. You know? there's pieces that are twisting or changing or they don't fully understand. I think of people who have deconstructed and people like that, like right. that, that go through the motions or uh, have been calling themselves Christians, but then they deconvert or deconstruct, right? right? right. Like then you clearly didn't understand, which is something that's frowned upon in the deconstruction community. <laughs> right. But like, yeah, yeah. but it's true. Yeah. Like, you could just be going through the motions. You don't fully understand, though. Yep. Right? But but that's one, one thing that I feel, so I 100% I agree with, with what what was said to you, like, what what you heard, right? Because it's like, that is my biggest, my biggest heart. And that's why I follow Paul Jack so closely, is, like, for those people who aren't being discipled. Like, I feel like the church is failing at discipling well. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes people go through the motions and are in, in church, but, like, are they being discipled? Like, there's so many Christians that believe, like, these weird things, these right. new age teachings, that, because they're hearing it from other people instead of being, like, discipled. Nobody's walking hand in hand with people anymore. Nobody's being a, a Paul to a Timothy or a Barnabas to a Paul. You know what I mm -hmm, mean? Like, mm -hmm. like... That's missing in the church. Or so. their foundation is just, like, cracked. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, like, they'll learn, like, um, God exists. Yeah. And he can do all these things. Um, but they don't fully understand, like, the Trinity. Right. Right? Yeah. So, like, this is something that I'm very passionate about. Like, like Scripture clearly tells us about the Trinity, right? Mm -hmm. Sc scripture clearly tells us about premarital sex and mm -hmm. all that and what's wrong with that. Yeah. Scripture clearly tells us about homosexuality. Yeah. And, and all of that, like it's all in there, mm -hmm. but we choose to ignore certain pieces or we choose, we choose not to teach the disciples certain pieces right. or we just forget and we miss that piece to teach them. Right. Yeah. And they aren't, they don't have the fire enough to go and seek it out themselves, yeah. you know? And so for me, like that's, that's my heart yeah. is to do that. But how do I do that in a way? Because when I, when I just go and I teach scripture, like nobody watches the video. Right. So how do I do that in a way that is going to be YouTube conducive? Because God has called me to this, you yeah. know, like I know that. Yeah. I know that. But how do I do that? Well, I feel like you've come up with a few different ideas, like using yeah. the chosen as a hook and then yeah. diving deeper into the scriptural part. Right. Like, I think that's the key, babe. Yeah. I, I agree, but I think um, I self-sabotage a lot, too, in that. Mm. And it's like, because for me, um, 
I think there's a couple of things. I think I ex- I expect God to move way faster than he does sometimes. Mm. Or I expect for me to mess up whatever God has. So mm. like there's these these moments I feel like where I just am second guessing everything. Mm. And it's like this podcast, like what subjects are we going to talk about? I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, I don't have a great subject for this podcast, but I know that God's going to make it what he wants it to be, yeah. you know? And so like today when I did the live stream, like I was like, okay, well, what should I do? Well, let's do a book that I'm not as familiar with because I want to be, I want to be challenged in that and I want to walk in that and, and I want to learn, you know? Yeah. And so maybe people will be more interested in watching me learn than they will in watching me teach, you know? Mm. Or maybe, I don't know. I just wanted to dive into that, you yeah. know? And I felt like it was a good moment. And so, I don't know. We'll see <laughs> is basically where I've landed. Like, yeah. I'm just ready to be obedient. Like, I'm yeah. ready to say yes to whatever. Which means I, I just being need to be able to word. hear that. Yeah. yeah. Being mm-hmm. in his word and praying, like, that's 100% key. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. So, talking about First uh, Thessalonians, <laughs> um, what do you think about that concept of, because he talks a lot about in that book, like, about being holy and being mm-hmm. set apart, like having this standard. And we talked about this a little bit when we talked about homosexuality and stuff with Bryce and JC, um, talking about uh, Roe v. Wade and all that stuff. Um, but, you know, where do we sit on being holy and set apart? Like, what does that standard look like? And, and how have you encountered things like that in your life? I don't think we understand holiness. In what way? <sighs> like, we are uncomfortable with being set apart. Hmm. You know? Like, and not we as in us, but we as in the church. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Global church. Um, Like, we're uncomfortable with being different. We're uncomfortable with not, like, and maybe it's because, like, I still have, like, the youth mindset, right? Like, I'm thinking about the youth kids. They will not be different. (laughs) <laughs> they won't. Right, right. Well, not all of them, yeah. Right. But even even those that are trying, they're trying so hard, but they're still, like, being pulled towards fitting in. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I think of two people specifically. Like, like just, just be different. Mm-hmm. You don't have to compromise. Yeah. You don't have to watch these things that everybody else is watching. Right, right, You don't right. have to listen to this music because it makes you feel good. Or, like, it's just... It's everybody else is listening to it. Everybody yeah. else is listening to it. And, like, or they're popular. Or, like, they're where I would want to be one day. You know and what you I mean? you don't want to miss out, yeah. Yeah, like, it's... But why isn't Jesus bigger like why isn't he why don't we love him more right i feel like that's what it always comes down to we don't want to be holy because we don't love him Hmm. we don't love him so we don't want to be set apart because we don't want to be in relationship with him you know what i mean yeah like it's it's crazy dude we don't fully understand holiness we don't understand what it's like to be holy 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 you know like he's we can't be holy holy, we can't be but like to, to, to pursue someone who is, you know? Yeah, I don't and know. to pursue holiness. I, being right. set apart is, I mean, like, you know, I feel like we we have talked about this a lot because me and you have both grown up on the outside and on the outskirts. And when you just did when you did decide to become a Christian, like, you were on the outskirts. Like, you had to separate yourself from the things that were pulling you, you know? And otherwise, you would have fallen back into the life that yeah. you had before. I had to completely cut... Right. Sever all ties. Right. Yeah. Right. And walk away from that. Like, you know, we've talked about it before, but like if I put on a movie that has swearing in it, right? Like it doesn't bother me because I don't, I don't fall into that, but you do. Right. But even that's an excuse. Like that's the same excuse that I hear for some of the youth girls. Right. Sure. I Is I don't have a problem with cussing. So like, I don't even notice it. Sure. Okay. I, it's not that I don't notice it. I mean, for me, it was a, it was a very purposeful thing. Right. Like, for me, I overreacted with, with swear words to where I would shut down and I couldn't talk to anybody that would use them, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And while I don't agree, like, I'm not I'm not going out and, like, pursuing swear words, right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but if I find something beneficial from something, like, I'm not going to 
shut it off because of that. Or if I can reach someone through that, right, I'm not going to shut it off because of that. Sure. So I think I think there's a time and place. There's a middle ground, right, mm-hmm. where, yes, I agree. Uh, we should stay away from swearing. Right. I agree. Yeah. Um, because I don't think it's beneficial. It's not holy. Right, it's not holy. It's not set apart. It's not righteous. And I agree, which is why I don't swear, right, yeah. because I, I want to be different, mm-hmm. right? And I think we've both encountered moments in our life where, being holy has cost us, right? Like what? Like, for me, like, there's been a lot of moments, especially within music and ministry and worship, like, where I don't look like the the right person, right? But I believe that God has blessed me through it, right? Like, I don't look like the average worship leader, you know? Okay. And I don't worship like the average worship leader either. I see. Right? Because I choose to be different, because I, I value authenticity above everything. Yeah. And so for me, like, for example, like, you know, worship leaders use tracks and loop to nowadays. So, like, yeah. you'll see every single worship leader that's up on stage. We ha- it happened this Sunday, right? Yeah. Which is an interesting experience, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, you know, I'm not doing worship anymore, but, like, we're going to church, obviously, and seeing these different worship leaders and doing stuff. And everywhere that you go, every single, like, bigger church that you go to nowadays is going to have track and loop. And what that means is they're going to have an earpiece in. Mm -hmm. They're going to be listening to a track, which is the song, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a CD of the song with with background tracks. And then they have, um, like, loops as well, like, or or a a metronome or something in the background that's Mm -hmm. kind of counting for them, helping them through the song, right? Giving them extra parts. Mm -hmm. So if everybody on the stage stopped playing, you'd still hear music. Yeah. Right? Which is what happened this Sunday, actually, because there was, like, a malfunction and it all went wrong. For me, I refuse to use those because, for me, it completely takes out worship for me. Mm -hmm. It becomes 100% a musical performance. Right. I can do that. Yeah. But it will not be worship. Right. Right? Yeah. And so for me, I am very adamant in that realm. Okay. <laughs> like, like, uh, okay, you if, if you can do it, great. Sounds great. Yeah. But, but I, I much prioritize authenticity and over worshiping. musical performance. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I did that, it would be a musical performance and not worship. Right. And, and so... F- for me, I've lost out on a lot of stuff because of that. Yeah. Right? Like playing with certain worship groups or like doing different things. Like because I prioritize that authenticity, yeah. um, there's other people that would, wouldn't work with me or I wouldn't work with them. Yeah. Like it would be very hard for me to integrate myself into a worship team. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so there may not be another time in my life when I'm integrated into a worship team like that. You know? Not that I won't worship because yeah. I, I think that I will, but it, it won't be like that, I don't think. In my opinion, <laughs> it'd be very hard for me. <clears throat> I I would say never say never. Like, <laughs> if if somebody reaches out and like, hey, be part of our worship team. Uh huh. What would you say? <laughs> Probably not, bro. <laughs> Especially <laughs> not right now. Like, I don't know. It's just been say such a three months down the line or mm-hmm. a year down the line, and mm-hmm. somebody's like, hey, we'll join our worship team. And they have loops and tracks and all that. Like, would yeah. you be obedient? What be, if? What well, if it's Well, if God happen? asked me, it'd be yeah. different. It'd be different though. But <laughs> it'd be really, really hard. Like, yeah. really, really, really hard. And for me, like, it's just not worth it. Yeah. So I'd anyway, rather just. That's yeah. that's how you've been set apart or called out, like. Yeah, like I've missed out on things because because I feel like this is a holy path, right? Mm. Or like I went to Southeastern University. Uh-huh. Um, they didn't accept me on their on their worship team because I didn't I didn't fit the part. Yeah. Right. You didn't wear tight jeans and a man bun. Right. 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 And sorry, so that's messed <laughs> up. I should. Well, it's just the truth, right? Like, I wasn't that. Like, we it was like a hipster movement, right? When I was yeah, in yeah. college, but like, I didn't fit the part to any of it, right? And so, uh, because of that, like, I got offers for other stuff because they liked my voice and they wanted to use me and they wanted to put me in different positions. Yeah. But I didn't fit the mold of what they were looking for. And I get that. Like, you're looking for a specific look yeah. as a Southeastern University, especially when you're, like, trying to, like, do albums and, like, have this media production and everything else. Like, I get it. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, so I, I missed out on that, right? Yeah. Because I didn't fit in. Right. And I, I think that that's what really God calls us to. Like, he calls us to be different, so different that people look at us strangely, right? Yeah. Um, to where people look at us and they say, what is so different about you in your life, 
you know? But I think also God has blessed us through that, right? Yeah. Through that holiness, like through that set apartness. I think that that's why I was in ministry from 19 until I was 29, right? Yeah. Like, that's why God blessed me through that. It's what I've always wanted to do, right? And the second that I get into my real career is when he gives it to me. Like, that's crazy. It doesn't always happen that way. You know? The second you get into your what? Real career. Like, my, my adult career. Oh, right? okay. I see what you're saying. Like, that doesn't always happen. Like, we have friends who, who want to be worship pastors or who, who want to be in worship ministry. And it's like, uh, like there's no a spot open. Like, y- there's nowhere that's there, yeah. you know? And so, like, from our point of view, it's, at least from my point of view, it's like, man, God, thank you so much for what you've done in my life. And, and I believe it's come from the way that I've obeyed him throughout my life which has brought me to holiness, you know? Right. Yeah, it's just putting your yes on the table and stop trying to make it your way, like, do it your way, like, for anything. Anything that we do, I don't know, maybe we're just weirdos, but, like, at this, and I'm not saying, oh, look at us, everything happens to us. It's so easy for this to be an arrogant thing. Right, right. Yeah. So... Yeah, I don't even want to finish what I was going to say. <laughs> no, go ahead, because I, I don't think it's it's not an arrogance thing. Like, we know that, right? We know that. It's not an arrogance thing of like, oh, look at me, look what I've done, I'm so good. It's, it's look what God has done. Yeah. All I did was obey. Yeah. Right? And he's done that over and over and over and over again in our lives. Right. Like, because we just want to do what God wants us to do. Right. So, like, we put our yes on the table, and then God does with it as he wants, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. I was, this is the dream state I want to live in. I could still not, like, uh, I could still not not get emotional. Mm -hmm. Like when thinking about that, God, you gave me what I wanted. Mm -hmm. You gave me this. I don't deserve it. I suck. Like I would stop reading the word. Like I, I had like a six month stint, maybe a year that I wasn't digging into your word. I wasn't pursuing you. And like now, like you gave me everything. How can I not desire to chase you? So now I'm like, I had prioritized. Now I'm reading. Like I I woke up at five 30 the other day. Ew. Like, (laughs) you know, because I just want, like you did this for me. Mm -hmm. How can I not just worship you and praise you for Mm -hmm. everything that you've done for me? Like, this is amazing. Like, I can't believe I'm in the, place in the situation that we're currently in like it's amazing so like going back to like the beginning of the thing like you just need to remember that like god has placed us yeah, here yeah. god is giving us th- this like god has given us so much even with like the chosen stuff and the relationships we've gotten yeah, there yeah. and everything with with youtube and how you're growing so you're learning so much right like you just need to implement that stuff and not not idolize the 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 youtube metrics and analytics and, right, and right, ai right, right. and all that like yeah. yes you need to know about that and you need to know how it works but at the same time like what has set us apart is being obedient to the Lord, right? Like it's being obedient to the Lord. So I don't know. I got, I got loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree a hundred percent. And, uh, and I just want to clarify too. Like, it's not, it's not like God's like you do a, and I'll give you everything you want. Right. You no. Know? Yeah. Like it's not this prosperity sort of like, no, 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 no. Like, you know, all I have to do is say these incantations and follow this, <laughs> yeah. follow this rule set. And then I'll right. have everything I want. No. Um, the fact is we would still be praising God, even if he didn't give us any right. of this. Absolutely. Right? 100%. And we would still be obedient to him, even if he didn't give us any of this. Correct. And there's been times when he's taken away things from us. Yeah. Right. Or not allowed us to go into certain realms. Right. And so like for us, it's, it's, we're going to praise not you no matter perfect. what. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Even in even in this, right? Yeah. Like even in this, Jinx still poops on the floor. Oh my right? gosh. <laughs> yeah. Or even like our fertility journey. Like, mm-hmm. right? We yeah. don't talk about that much because we're happy with whatever God gives us. Yeah. But that is like a sour point. Like not sour, but like yeah. it's it's it, emotional and, it's, and an it's a emotional, journey. Yeah. But I also hate it when people are like don't worry, God will do it for you. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, and what if he doesn't? Yeah. You know? Right. Like, does that make you a liar or God a liar? Mm. You know? Yeah. And it's like, 
<laughs> okay, bro. Like, yeah. you have no idea what God's going to do. Yeah. And if he doesn't give us kids, like, I'm 100% okay with that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it doesn't come from a place of me not wanting kids. Right. It comes from a place of me being obedient to God and whatever he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. I think if we had kids at this moment, it would be really, really, really difficult. Yeah. And he knows that. Yeah. And maybe that time will never come because he wants us to be focused on these other things. You yeah. know, if we reach 10 million plus people, we might have never done that. Right. Yep. We may have never met people like Sandy and Timothy and Tony and um, and and everybody. Right. Yeah. All the, are the Barbaras and Karens and, and everybody that we know, right? Yeah, like, yeah. it's crazy to me the number of people who come into our lives. Like, I was talking to Georgie earlier today, who's Epic Georgie, remember? Yeah, him? Epic Georgie. So he came back into our live stream the I other saw night. That, yeah. And then he came back into our live stream, my live stream today. Oh, really? And um, his people are descendants of uh, the, the Thessalonians. And so it was really, really interesting because he was in. Um, that and he's like, wow, you're talking about my, my people, my ancestors, and blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah. And it's just like he was so excited to talk about that, you know. But that connection that we have would have never been made, right? If we didn't exist, right? <laughs> right? As as a YouTubers and all that, yeah. the relationship that I have with Brandon Robbins, who has been a great friend, right? Yeah. Like that wouldn't exist. Right. Um, the trip to Israel wouldn't be happening. Like there's yeah. just a bunch of stuff that I think is going to change people's <laughs> lives that we're going to be the catalyst of. Mm -hmm. And that's because God has set us in this place. Yeah. And that is because I think we've been, we've been, um, you know, what is the word? We've been diligent with a little, right? Mm. And, and, and we've been honorable with a little and he's beginning to give us more, you know? And I think he's testing us in this moment too, um, for me especially, but yes, thinker. I'm thinking of what is that, what is that Bible verse? Be... Yeah, I can't remember. Faithful. Faithful, Faithful with a little. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was it. That was what I was thinking. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, um, I'm super excited for you, for sure, in your journey and your new job stuff. Like, I but think it's, it's also be like I'm, I am still focused. Like, yeah. I know you want me to focus on this job, and I will, and I'm going to do my best. Yeah. But at the same time, I can't help but think about our business. No, and I think that's great, but I think that you need to allow me to take the lead on it too. Yeah, absolutely. Because we've had a lot of stuff in the past where God is like, no, you need to take this, and you still try to lead it. Yeah. You know? And so you need to let me it's take problem, the lead. It's a problem, okay? And when I do things that you dislike, you have to be okay with that too. Ugh, like Because what? I can't, well, if I change something and you're like, oh, you shouldn't have done that, that's stupid. You know? Like how I thought you took that mic. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> that mic cord. Exactly. So like That's when things <laughs> okay when things like that happen though you have to learn to trust me and even if I get it wrong it needs to be my mistake right let me hold your hand <laughs> no I'm talking you weirdo <laughs> you're so weird dude so are you <laughs> anyway anyway yes I need to let you take the lead but I'm I'm really excited I really am and and I'm ready to. Like, I have full confidence that God's going to do what he's going to do. Yeah. And I have no doubt that that's going to be amazing. Yeah. Um, I just don't want to screw it up myself. And so that's where the, <laughs> that's where the, uh, that's where the doubt comes in is within myself, not with God. You know, like Mary says in that, in that episode, like, you know, I did it once and what is it? Well, he fixed me once and I broke again, Yeah. He but then she said, she says also in that, in that section, like, um, you know, I, I trust him. I know that he's going to do good. It's just, it's oh. me that I don't trust, right? It's yeah. me that I don't, like, like I can't follow in in that, you know? So, yeah, I, I definitely get that. So, anyway. Yeah. To the journey ahead. Did we talk about holiness at all? <laughs> yeah, I think so. For sure. Yeah. Be holy as your Father in heaven is holy. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I, I think, um, I don't know, as we get into this journey, like we're going to do a lot more podcasts like this and in this space. And I hope we can have some cool guests in here and stuff. And um, I don't know. I don't know what the next year brings. But as an end of this podcast, you know, where do you see us in a year, two years? Where do you see things moving and changing? What do you what do you see happening? For the last month and a half or two. I felt like I couldn't move forward because I was waiting for what was going to happen with this job. Right. 
And now I feel like we're here, but now I don't know what's going to happen until we find the our place, our home. Yeah. Like, where we're going to live. This is a rental, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like... What city and everything we're going to yeah. live in and all that so stuff. So, like, I don't... Like, I don't even want to fully put things on the wall because, like, <laughs> we're just going to leave But in you have year. to live in the now, too. Like, this is where God has us, you know? Yeah, that's a good point. Like, you can't... You, you just can't live you know, a year and a half, two years from now. Right. And be like, oh, well, I'm, I, I might have a donut that day. So, <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, like you can't do that. Yeah. You know? Well, let's hear of you visionaries where you see <laughs> us in a, in a year and then I could. Yeah. You're going to steal mine. Got it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I think in a year um, you will be very strong in your position. I'm excited about that. I think that you'll just naturally do what you need to do because you're very smart and you learn fast and you'll be able to handle it. I think there's going to be times in between where you feel like you're doubting yourself, but I feel like you're going to do an amazing job. Um, Possibly even a promotion by that point. Like that would be amazing. Do you want me to move up? I think that would be amazing. Yeah. For you to do something that you really, really want to do. Like you didn't set out in it to do security, you know, and stuff like that. But like, you can do a lot of cool stuff, you know? Like, you're very talented. I think you can do a lot of really interesting stuff. And, um, I don't know, for me, I think the YouTube channel, I think we're going to be in a completely different place. I think God is going to move things around and make it so that, I don't know, it, it makes more sense to me mm-hmm. and um, and give me more clarity so that I'm not just, like, walking on, walking in the dark. Mm-hmm. I think at, at least, hopefully, you'll have a couple steps ahead of me <laughs> so I can see where we're going. Yeah. Um, yeah I don't know there's so much there's so much that I want to happen Mm -hmm. and so much that I know God is just gonna exceed far and beyond yeah so it's hard to say it really is Uh, especially since we just got here we don't really know the area we don't really know what we're doing we don't really know anybody like there's so many unanswered things when before it was like our life was on a trajectory you know and we knew the outcomes of certain things you know, sort of. Well, we knew that at least the week to week, month to month. Sure. Right. Like, yeah. this is going to happen here. Here's going to happen here. Yeah, I'm yeah, going to have yeah. a Christmas Eve service and blah, 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 all that yeah. stuff. Like, all of that's different now. You Dude, know, I'm so excited for not having Christmas Eve. <laughs> 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 Why is that? Because our, our, my family at least celebrated on Christmas Eve. I don't know what's going to happen now because obviously we're states away. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, just having my Christmas Eve so I could I could at least try to implement some stuff. I don't know. Yeah. You're the you're the head of the house, but <laughs> like where we can implement our own traditions, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. All right. Well, thanks for sitting down with me. I'm sure Wait, we'll I have... didn't say my in a year. Oh, sorry, go ahead. In a year I see ourselves. <laughs> I really do I wanna have okay. This is what I see. Debt paid off. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Um, starting to save for a house. Yeah. Um, and if a kid comes, a kid comes. Like the seriously, I never thought think about kids. Now, okay. I l- I want to have kids, right? Mm-hmm. We've been trying for years. Sure. But it's always been like if God wants it, like it's gonna happen. And then usually when I plan out three to five years. It just never comes to mind. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we started making plans for moving here, like, it started coming up again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, if it happens, it happens. Like, I'm still in the same place emotionally. Sure. Um, But that would be cool to have a little, a little, a little Brandon (laughs) and Vanessa. Um, Little Nessa Brandon. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, like, that maybe, maybe a second dog. No. Maybe a cat. Definitely not. <laughs> Just kidding. I hate cats. Um, and yeah, I would, I I don't know. I, I don't know where to feel about where to be in my job. Like I do, I obviously clearly totally want to be 120% right present there and like do my best. And if growing comes with it, growing comes with it. But like I do, like I, I, I really do love the new job so yeah 
Yeah, we'll figure it out together. And I think it's just the start of the journey, you know? Like, I really felt like the last couple of days are really the start of, you know, us being here. Yeah. Um, and figuring stuff out. And, and getting a shooting schedule and working schedule and all that stuff. So, yeah. anyway, podcast is coming out after this. Um, we'll, re- we'll release a bunch of episodes and then hold back the rest for Patreon people. So, thank you so much to our patrons. Why don't you reach out as far as I do? <coughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to our patrons for supporting us and, and really helping out. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing. So if you want to help us on our Patreon, you can do that by going to patreon.com slash the snipe life. And that's the easiest way to help this channel, help uh, our podcast channel, help our main channel, all that stuff. It tremendously helps us out. So thank you guys so much. We love you so much. And we'll see you on the next podcast. Peace. Peace. <laughs>